Hey guys, welcome to week 36 in the Real DVD Watchers, and this week I'm going to be reviewing Torchwood Children of Earth, which is essentially just Torchwood Season 3. Um, they decided to cut it down to a miniseries, five episode miniseries, which still doesn't make sense to me, but I went with it anyway. And the miniseries stars John Barrowman, Eve Miles, Gareth David Lloyd, and Kai Owen. And it follows Team Torchwood as they have to uh, deal with this alien threat who have come to Earth demanding that the people of Earth give up 10% of the uh, children of the Earth. Which is essentially where the name of the miniseries comes from. Um... And as I said, I was really skeptical because uh, the show had done so well on BBC Two that they had moved it to BBC One, and they they like cut the episodes over half, and I was really pissed. But when I saw this, I was like, "Oh my God, why couldn't?" Uh, essentially, season three, Children of Earth, is one of the probably the best piece of writing to ever come into Torchwood. Maybe not Doctor Who, because Doctor Who still had some good stuff. But it's the best thing that the uh, Torchwood crew has ever done. Um, and that's, you know, because uh, Season 1, it was kind of good, had some bad apps. Season 2 was a major improvement over Season 1. This was just a major improvement over everything. And, like, just the things that people have to do. Because I read, like, on the net and stuff, people's reactions. And for the first four days, it was, you know, just the best fucking thing I've ever seen. And then comes day five. Now, day five is when a lot of people had the problem, uh, their problems, because essentially the only way that the aliens can be killed was if uh, they needed a, they needed a, a kid to change the frequency and uh, throw the frequency on the aliens or whatever, sending them away. And Captain Jack, who uh, is the one who figures out how to do it, has to use his grandson to do it. And he basically kills his grandson in the process. And people were really fucking pissed they did that. It's like, oh, it's so unlike him. Oh, he would never do that. Well, let me tell you something here. Jack's character was basically is basically a parallel to the Doctor, whereas the Doctor would always find a solution for everything without killing, because he's not that person. Jack was created so that he would make the choices that the Doctor wouldn't and couldn't make. He, uh, you know, that, that's so like him. Like, to kill one to save millions, he'd do it in a heartbeat. But this time, it's more emotionally wrenching, whereas it's his grandson he's killing. It's just, oh, it's just so good. <coughs> Not the fact that he actually killed him, but just, oh. And then people are saying that this is just, oh, the worst thing. And I, oh, I'm just, I'm just disgusted at the fact that people think that it should end on a happy note. Why not end it on a downer? Like... You see in TV all the time, people just come out of things like that. It's everything comes out okie dokie in the end, but this time it didn't, and people aren't used to that, so they're just really pissed. I loved it, personally. I was a little disappointed in the fifth part that there was no big alien battle, but I can live with it. And then with them killing off another main member of the cast, that was kind of stupid, but really, it was emotional. But... Because, you know, they killed off two in the uh, in the Season 2 finale, and then they kill off another one. So Torchwood's going to have to be doing some major recruiting. And in the end, Jack goes off into space, and which just basically sets up the uh, Doctor Who Christmas special that he's going to appear in. So Doctor will slap him out of it, and he'll be back. And I'm just hoping that BBC will give this uh, fourth series. It really deserves it. The numbers are great. And the problem with doing a story like that, because Torchwood takes place, 
within the same universe as two other shows, Doctor Who and the Sarah Jane Adventures. And the thing with doing an alien threat on that level is you get the audience asking, where's the Doctor? Where's the Doctor? How come Doctor's not there? Doctor would fix that. Well, for a Doctor... I, I couldn't picture that as a Doctor Who story. You'd have the Doctor come in, make fun of the 456's name, fiddle around with the sonic screwdriver, it'd be done. He'd never kill anyone to, for that. But that's, you know, and they basically just come up with, well, you know, the government is willing to give the aliens 10% of the world's population. It's basically like, well, the Doctor just so disgusted he doesn't want anything to do with us which I don't think is totally true because he'd come in and he'd really try to help but he can't be there all the time which is what which was established in the Doctor Who finale so whatever I know a lot of you watching this will have two fucking clues as to what I'm talking about people who watch the miniseries will I enjoyed it I like it I'll get it on DVD Final rating for the miniseries, I give an 8.5 out of 10. It deserves it. So, until next week, week 37, I'll see ya.